do in dawa while speaking to any human being the best message you can convey is convey the message of tawhid always you know when we speak about a religion and you are from different religion you come to me with your own idea and you try to refute me that your religion is better and i understand that but always i find the muslims answers are very funny and very silly and far away from any connection with the topic if we go and ask the muslims you muslims believe in something called tawhid what is tawhid islam does not merely believe in monotheism islam believes in tawhid tawhid means unification uh, muslims are saying god is one and and to say god is one the arabic word for that is tawhid people have all kinds of ideas but they're mistaken ideas tawhid means unification i mean even the name is a stupid because tawhid means unification tawhid means unification how your god is one and you believe in tawhid and muslims say well trinity is not mentioned in the in the bible <laughs> The word Tawheed is not found in the Quran. In fact, it's not found anywhere in the Hadith. The concept of Tawheed was continuing to be developed for hundreds of years after Muhammad. That's why it wasn't found in Hadith. If he's one, because the second you use the word Tawheed, that's mean you are believing in a unification of something. So Tawheed is the concept of believing something to be one unifying something simply the word tawhid is supposedly the god of islam unifying all the gods of quraysh the gods of the arab they have many gods beside allah this is what the quran is saying so allah he unified all gods together under his name now if we say this is tawhid that will be nothing but paganism have nothing to do with worshiping one god same time if God is one, or there's two gods, or there's three gods, or there's five gods, I mean, who care as long it's true or not? So to make it simple, the Muslim, they say to us, we have one God. The Christian, they say we have one God. The Jews, they say we have one God. But obviously, my God is not the same as And we need to examine your God and see if he can fit to be a God or to be God. God, but he is a foolish God. That's cannot be God. Have you ever heard of a God? He's a fool. Allah is a fool. Allah says that the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Allah, He said the man have a sperm coming from his backbone. Chapter number eighty-six, verse number five, six, and seven, which says that we have created you from minute quantity of liquid emitted from a space between the backbone and the ribs. Allah, He claimed that the sperm transform into a congealed blood. Allah, he claimed that uh, uh, the sun set in murky water. Uh, Allah, he don't even remember which one he created first, the trees or the stars. I mean, have you ever heard, okay, you have one God, but you have a foolish God. Because if I believe my God is a donkey, and I pray to my donkey, <laughs> and my prayers are answered, I said, this is my God, he's a donkey. We can't take lectures about Taweed from people who believe from Allah Muslims right who believe these kinds of things. So I am really happy that you are saying to me, I have one God who is a fool. So if I met with somebody and he says to me, I believe in 1000 God, and then he presents to me books, and those books are really not, they are not stupid. Oh, how I can say, how I can answer him? The 1000 gods he have, they are smart, wise. The one God you have is a fool. Only in Islam. The one God you have is a fool. Only in Islam. So having one God, having 10 gods, having 330 God, having 40 God is a silly thing because simply it's about is true or not. Only believing in one God is not sufficient. It's not about how many they are. So the Muslim, he think he is proud. I believe in one God. I believe in one God. But you, have, you believe in one idiot God. Are you following with me, guys? Are we following? You want to explain to me Tawheed? You yourself, you do not know what Tawheed is. As an example, Allah is Samad. Allah is Samad. Allah, the absolute and eternal. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. 
He begets not, nor is he begotten. There is nothing like him. You don't know even what the word Samad means because this is an Aramaic word. A Samad is coming from Masmud, which means the collect, collect, the collection. How he is one, but he is a collection. How Allah is one, but he is a collection. And the Muslims, everyone, he give you his own interpretation for the word and every his own translation for the word. Let us show you. This is a chapter the Muslims always repeat for us. From Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Kul Allahu Ahad. Say he's Allah one and only. And let me show you how stupid this chapter is. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Ahad here is not one. That's false. That's a big fat lie. Here we go. I will copy the word Ahad in the front of you. And I will paste it in the search engine. And I will show you. You, that every translation the Muslims they have for the word Ahad is not one, it's one off, one from many. This is what Ahad mean. And to prove to you that this is what it's mean, look what it says in the last verse. Walam yakun lahu kuf on ahad. If Ahad mean one, how come in the same chapter it says none is comparable into him? Ahad suddenly became no one, which means no one of you. You know what I mean? So Ahad does not mean one. The same chapter in front of your eyes. The foolish Muhammad was copying the Bible. Oh, you Israel, your God is Echad. Echad is not one as number. Echad is one as a unity. Kul <laughs> huwallahu ahad. It's not funny. That mistake got published. Stop! <laughs> this is why the Bible says, that the man he leave his family his parents and he live with his wife and they will become one Muhammad here is a thief he is copying from the Bible what is in the Bible and he copied the word Echad this is not this is not this is Ahad you see you see how close even the word Allah said in the Quran where Allah said Allah said all who Allah Ahad in in the Hebrew Echad it's the same word Echad is a word to unify, not about numbers. And this is where Muhammad, he got the word Echad. Here the one is, is about unification, not about one by number. And we have tons of verses in the Bible speak about Echad as unification. And I'll give you an example, how the man and the wife, they get married and, you know, they became Echad. And this is what happened when you have a thief who is copy-paste and he himself, he do not know what he is talking about. Your God is one, but not one as number, one as unity, because this is the word Echad. They became one. If you go to Genesis 2, 24, do you see it? Do you see the translation? What happened here? We have two human, not two gods. They are even human. Therefore, the man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined with his wife and they shall become one echad unity kul huwa allahu ahad point a fine prank very amusing <laughs> now get it out if we copy the word ahad which the muslim keep reciting for us and we paste it in the search engine of this funny quran right in the front of your of, of your eyes i will paste Look how many times the word appear. Look how many times. All of them. وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانِ مِنْ أَحَد You see the word Ahad? قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَد And the people have gone astray in this form of Tawheed. It's the same exactly, the one we posted in the search engine. What Ahad mean here? Anyone. Which means any one of many, not one, he's not the only one. There's one of translation, chapter 2, verse 102. It says here, and they don't teach anyone. See how the word Ahad became anyone? Means to ascribe unity to something. To ascribe unity to something. And the people have gone astray. In this form of Tawheed. <laughs> in the translation? Forget about this word. Let us go to different different verse. 
chapter 2 verse number 136 وَمَا نُفَرِّقُ دَا بَيْنَ أَحَدٍ أَحَد you see it we don't differentiate between any any of chapter 2 verse 136 you see we don't differentiate between any we make no distinction between any of them this is ahad do you see it and we can go all over the quran non-stop and you will see that the word come always in such a way chapter 2 verse number 285 ahad read it ahad mean we don't differentiate between any of any of ahad any of any one which mean one off to use the word ahad that mean there is more there's more of you or you take it as in the hebrew where it is a ahad which mean unity so in a in a very simple study we 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 discover that islam based in fictions and stupidity ya rahman and ya rahim القدوس والسلام Allah is one, Ya Rahman and Ya Rahim, the creator of all mankind. And yes, indeed, we worship Him. You can show another lane, but you can't hide from Him. He sees all things in all human beings. The greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved by someone. The nature, glory unfolds like a beautiful story of the one and only. As he talks to you, conveying a message so pure and true, true. Allah is one, is one. Allah is one, is one. Allah is one, is one. And that's how it's done, done. Allah is one, is one. Allah is one, is one. Allah is one, is one. And that's how it's done. And here we can conclude that. Muhammad and Allah are unified to be one so Muslims I ask you to stop worshipping Allah and Muhammad stop this paganism leave Islam behind you and come back to Christianity accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior because this is clearly in Islam this is no salvation for you this is paganism come back to Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior guys thank you for watching download this video share it around on social media and God bless Tawheed unification <laughs>